Okay, here we have the external web page that the students would open up in a separate window in their browser. And you can see that we have four questions here that relate to the four questions in this little chair. The first one is to a Java applet. A Java applet is just a small application for a specific purpose. In this case, uh, this happens to be a chemistry example, so it's trying to show the uh, spectra that would apply for the different elements. What students can do, of course, here is an interactive exercise. They can either look at the absorption or emission uh, spectra. So you can have questions that the students do uh, where they don't have to memorize these things. They can actually look at them in real time and they can actually compare them. The second example that we will look at will be an uh, example of three-dimensional uh, structures. So in this case, it's another applet. And what the student is doing here is looking at three different structures. The student can rotate the structure in real time for each of these three examples. Uh, they could also right click and obtain a quite a, an impressive sequence of uh, data that's associated with these particular structures that we have here. So once again, we could ask quite sophisticated questions of students because they don't have to memorize this data. They have access to the actual tools and we can get them to do quite sophisticated comparisons as well. The third example that we have here is a calculation example. In this case, the uh, student would be able to draw a chemical structure in real time. I'm just doing an arbitrary one here. Uh, they can also show three-dimensional structures here. So I'm changing the orientation of the particular groups that I have here. And of course, the interesting thing here is that we can calculate a physical property that's associated with the structure. So you can see the button down here says calculate log p and formula. And you notice that we now have a log p value here. So once again, we can ask more sophisticated questions of students in this sort of environment where we're not relying on memory, we're actually relying on them using real-time data.